In the world of poultry, bigger is not always better. This revolutionary idea came from the mind of Robert Baker, creator of the unique New York dish now known as Cornell Chicken. His daughter, Rini Baker Sunstead, explains. Cornell Chicken is a sauce that my dad developed in a, the late 40s. Um, it is made of oil, vinegar, poultry seasoning, eggs, and it's a way of cooking chicken so it doesn't burn like the tomato sauce used to, to do to it. In the late 1940s, in an effort to increase poultry production, Dr. Baker developed a cooking method that would allow smaller chickens, now known as broilers, to be cooked quickly. His idea used a simple but tasty basting sauce that can be used to serve a family or a thousand people. Farmers found they could sell more chickens and the poultry industry was revolutionized. Initially he invented it to, he was at Penn State and he was asked to um, serve a different kind of chicken for the governor who was coming to Penn State and then he brought the recipe up to Cornell but really his purpose for the Cornell chicken was uh, to use more to, to have more ways to cook chicken because back then people just baked chicken and he wanted to people to buy more chicken so he needed new ways for them to, to cook their chicken. Today visitors to upstate New York can sample Cornell chicken throughout the summer at almost every kind of community event from Boy Scout fundraisers to church and fire department cookouts and county fairs. Of course, the mecca of Cornell chicken is Baker's Chicken Coop at the New York State Fair. Opened by Dr. Baker himself in 1949, it is still run by his family. Typically, we say any weekend in the summer, most firemen somewhere in some town in the area will be cooking chicken. We have a place called Baker's Acres in North Lansing, and we, will, we cook chicken there to the public three times a year. No matter where you find it, you'll only have to taste Cornell chicken, and you'll be hooked forever.